Thanks. That's good. Belfast City becomes New York City. Yeah. Well done. A little bit of a I just said Belfast shift. City becomes New York City. It sounds good. Where are you originally from in the States? Chicago. Chicago, wow. Yeah. Somebody to behind you is from Chicago. They're just cheering. Did, did you hear? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, I have a bit of Irish blood in me, of course. Do you? Yes. Where? Yes. Oh, way back. McGovern, yeah. I think, somewhere. Yeah. Lady Cora Grantham is going to look completely different to me every time I look at her now because I'll be just thinking of you singing. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I hope I haven't ruined it. No, it's great. But you love singing, don't you? Like, you're doing support to Sting. Yeah, the yeah. Montreux Jazz Festival. It's really good. You just played in the Isle of Wight. That. Yeah, that we've played there twice, and we love doing that. Love and do it. you do, you love singing live, someone was saying, do you just love it? Well, anybody who does it knows it's a complete and total addiction. You just become a slave to it because that feeling of musical connection is really just not like anything in the world. Tell people a little bit, before we talk about Downton, you were an actress in the States before you ever went to the UK, weren't you? That's right, yes. Yeah. Very successful. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell people what you went, you got on then nomination and everything yeah and I I well I was very lucky I worked with great people and um, that always makes you look good no you worked with who did you, you tell us some of the stars you did work with well my very very first job was uh, a man named Robert Redford directing it was Heard a movie called ordinary people and um, that was one of in fact it was his first directorial effort and he went on to just being time and time again an a incredible, intelligent, perceptive director of film and has devoted his life to the art of filmmaking. So that was a good way to start. <laughs> There's no going back yeah. after that. Yeah. And you worked with De Niro? I did, yeah. That was when I was very, very young. And we did a movie called Once Upon a Time in America, which um, was sort of overlooked in America, unfortunately, because it was... Uh, screwed up in the edit slightly by the company who wanted very much to screen it more times in a day so that they could get more audiences in and out and I think it broke Sergio Leone's heart a bit yeah. but um, it's now being re-shown in its original cut and there was a screening at Cannes which was absolutely incredible so I think uh, it will circulate finally the work that he intended but it's taken a long time. And you gave up all of that. You went to the UK, is it true, for the love of a man? Well, <laughs> I'm afraid it is. That's okay. Yeah. That's good. Uh, it, who's my husband today? So it's worked out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But on the Downton Abbey, when you went for the audition for that, is it true that when you got it and you are American, they actually sent you to an English woman to teach you how to speak with <laughs> an American accent? Um, well, yes. <laughs> It is true. Crazy. I mean, I, I do defer to the geniuses of Downton yes. Abbey, but in that one case, I was very, very silently thinking to myself, I'm not sure why we're going through this exercise, but um, anyway. Did all... you know how successful Downton was going to be? It's a beautiful production. It has six Emmys or something like, I mean... Yeah. Uh, no, of course not. I mean, no. you always hope every job you do is going to be a combination of Citizen Kane or, you know, yeah. The Godfather. And, and I, I sort of believe every job I do uh, is going to be that, but very few are. Um, I don't say that Downton is that, Downton Abbey, but um, it it's really seems to have captured a lot of people's imagination. So, of course, we're thrilled and grateful. And, and you know, we all work very hard to make that happen, just to make that connection with an audience. Do you like Cora? Of course I do. What's not to like? <laughs> She's a very nice person. She's had a lot of tragedy. Somebody said, yeah. is she going to seek more happiness or joy in the next series? Well, it's funny um, because somebody asked me, what is Cora's story this next series? And because she's a person that is fairly reactive in the sense that she's the wife and the mother always and... Um, is sort of reacting to other people's stories mm -hmm. and ambitions and things like that. Um, it was a hard question for me to answer, but I thought about it and I thought, Cora's just trying yeah. to have a little bit of fun, actually, this series. 
she's suffered probably the worst thing you could ever begin to imagine, which is the death of a child. Yeah. And uh, so I think that that for me has been uh, the through line for her. Um, series four, you know, you get to a point in your life where you just realize life is precious. And I suppose that's a bit like me, you know, I just, I just see that our time here is short. So uh, maybe I bring that to the part, I don't know. Yeah, which is great. You're f are you filming at the moment? Yes, we are. In fact, I was filming yesterday. <laughs> And is it intense? Like, do you work really long days? And does it take long to get into all the gear, all the beautiful oh, dresses? Oh, yeah. Mm. It's, a, it's, it's a hugely ambitious enterprise. And um, there's so many characters. And um, the look of it is so meticulous. Mm. And um, what people don't realize, really, when you're watching, is that we have to shoot it so quickly. I mean, compared to the schedule that you would get on the equivalent film, you do it in half the time for much, much less of the budget. So that is its, I mean, it's, uh, it, it, that is one of the phenomenal things So does things that mean they it. wouldn't reshoot a scene as often? Say, if you're making a movie, you always hear people say, oh, let's do it to get an extra good for the 15th time. Whilst in Downton, would they be less likely to do that? It would be less likely, but it has happened. Okay. I mean, they really do, uh, all of us really care about the quality. We just don't want to put out anything. So, um, on occasion, um, there there have been times when we've reshot, but um, very very little. It's it's an extremely disciplined way of working. And of course, we've got our own Alan Leach in there, an oh, Irish. He's so sweet. I love yeah. him. Yeah. 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 He's, he's he's got a very interesting story this season because because of course, he's lost his uh, his beloved yeah. wife, but now he's in this family and. How does he move on and find, you know, another woman? And all these sort of complicated things are thrown up. Does he marry the person that's the working class girl and bring her home to the, the Abbey? It's, it's brilliant. I can't wait for people to see it. Yeah, he's lovely. And you gig. Some of the people from Downton gig with you, don't they? I've had Michelle. It's, I, I uh, beware singing Dr. in my presence. Yeah. I mean, that's why you guys are so <laughs> sweet. Anyone who can sing, you will be in my band <laughs> because um, I just love it so much. And unfortunately, Michelle Dockery made the mistake of singing very beautifully one day on the set. So she was roped in to do a gig at the Leadenhall Festival in London. And she's always singing with me on the set. Oh, it's so great. So when is your next gig and will you be coming back to Ireland? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Um, our next gig, gig is uh, the Cornbury Festival. Where is that? Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Turn out more complicated yeah. questions. <laughs> I hope I'll get there. That's all. I'll yeah. be in the bus, and uh, maybe it's in Cornbury. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, then Montreux, the Montreux Jazz Festival. Oh, that would be a lovely one, actually. Up. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's really excited about that one. And the name of the band? Where did that come from? Final question. Well, the, the, it originally uh, came out of my need to create a character that I could become and sing because that's not something that I have much confidence doing. So uh, that was the creation of Sadie to start with. And then I thought I would give uh, my band, who uh, I don't know if you can tell, but they are just the nicest yeah. people in the world. So I thought I'd give them a little bit of... Um, uh, piss and vinegar and yeah. call them the hotheads because they're just so low key. Yeah. Um, so they, they have uh, an alter ego just like I do. So that was There was, was a whistle in there as well. Yeah. An Irish whistle. Yeah. Definitely been a thing. Yeah. Well, look, I'm going to be, like many people, addicted to Downton when it comes back. I wish you the very best with your band. Thanks for bringing it to here. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Elizabeth for Montgomery. Us. That was great. Thank you. Thank you.